Hello and welcome to my corner of the internet. I am Inga. I am the knitter behind Knitting Traditions and I usually create a lot of podcast episodes. Today is a different episode, a bonus if you will. Um, and I am going through my unspun stash and sort of um, organizing it all into some cabinets and going through how much I have of each color and kind of planning what to make with it, if you will. It is some of my favorite yarn to knit with, mostly because of what it creates. So the process itself can be not my favorite because the yarn is very fragile, but it creates a very beautiful, um, soft, lightweight, warm fabric. And um, I have quite a bit, mostly from Hillesvog, which is a Norwegian um, yarn producer. And I recently kind of stashed up quite a bit because um, with uh, the war and financial situation and everything, Electricity has been quite expensive and I heard that they were struggling a bit with making ends meet so I wanted to one stock up in case They went under and also support them and try and keep them going even though I'm just one person. So that's my justification and uh, I also have a bit of Nutsidin and uh, some Plotilopi. I have yet to try Manchalopi, which I do want to try and I've yet to try Thrive, uh, and I've yet to try tr to try um, Crux Fiber, who also has some unspun. So those three are on my wish list, and then I have three types with quite a bit in my stash. Um, and it takes a lot of space because uh, two hundred grams of unspun is gigantic compared to. 200 grams of something else. So it takes quite a lot more space, if you will. Um, yeah, so going through it, I have taken with me four of my finished objects from past tents that are made with unspun that I wanted to show you. One is in the wash, so I don't have one of them. But the rest I have with me, so I'll show you that and um, also insert some photos of the things that I'm thinking of making, you know? So maybe I'll start with what I have the least of in my stash and that are some scraps of Nude Sedan. So last year, I'll take the plastic bag. I have this much left, uh, some leftovers of the Nutsiden Grud colorway. Last year I made the Gernsigenser in this and I ran out of yarn and someone very generously sent me their scraps, leftovers, and I'm making the Amy pullover with it because the Amy pullover I made last year as well uses less than 200 grams of unspun. So. I made the Gernsegenser and I'll show it to you. So this huge thing is a pattern from Sannes Garn and it's not intended for unspun. I think it's designed using the Sunday yarn and silk mohair or is it double Sunday? Either way, it's quite a thick um, sweater. I held knitted and double and a silk mohair strand for this and I think I used 800 grams of unspun to create this because it is it is very oversized um, if I put it on I mean I love that it's so oversized but you can see how how wide it is um, and it's it's huge um, but I love it and yeah, I'm using up the scraps that I still have to make the Amy slipover. 
because it's a great pattern for using up just 200 grams of unspun. So while this was held double, the Amy slipover, this is one I made last year, is using a single strand of unspun and then a silk mohair. And both of those patterns are from the same um, pamphlet book from Sun is Garn, which is the soft for women. Um, that was released last year. Uh, and yeah, I have worn this so, so much. So I am making one in my leftovers of Knitted and, and I'm also already planning on making a third one with some other leftovers of Knitted and that I have. So you can fold it down, you can fold it outwards, you can keep it straight, which is what I like to do. Not the best to show it on top of something black, but that's that's what we're doing, dealing with. So, yes. So these two I am making the Amy slipover with, together with also two balls of um, silk mohair from Isayer that I had left over as well from the sweater project because I thought I had too little and I ordered more but it was under the couch so yes one project that uses very little unspun and one project that uses a lot of unspun so it's good to have a range if you will I think I will pick up a brown bag of Newton. This is the color Fliseline that I used last year. I think I ordered 600, no, 500 grams of Fliseline. And I have three full cakes left of this colorway plus a tiny little bit. So I really did not use that much. If this is correct, if, yeah, I only got 500. So I used 200 grams of it. And what I use this for is the Björk Raglan by Woodland Knits. Her name is Liv Ulven. I think she has several patterns designed with um, unspun yarn and I I made this well I guess I finished it did I finish it in January I think so uh, this was supposed to use 300 grams of this color and 200 grams of this contrast color but I only used 200 so we went a long way um, in this colorway. So with the knitted in, every colorway varies in how many meters you have per 100 grams because no colorway is the same. So better to have too much than too little. But yeah, I have 300 left. Uh, the rust color that I used for this, oh, I need to talk slower. The rust color that I used for this was a gift from Matthias. It's Plötelopi that he bought for me when he was in Iceland. And uh, I'm gonna put this on and show you even though it's very warm. Now I will say I wish I would have made this sweater in a bigger size. If... Let's see. So, um, <laughs> looking like a troll. I made the size recommended for my size and it fits fine. Like it's not too small or anything. I just think I really love the very oversized fit of the Guernsey Genser. So I'm kind of missing that for this one. Um, if I were to make it again, I would probably make it even bigger so that it would be even more oversized, but it's a very nice sweater. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. I haven't worn it as much as the other one. Um, 
because I really love the green one, but I should be wearing it more. So Liv Ulven or Woodland Knits has a lot of patterns that you could check out if you're looking for pattern inspirations for unspun. So for my size in this, it recommended 300 plus 200. I did not use a silk mohair for this, so I just held the yarns double and I got gauge with that. So there is quite a lot of leeway when it comes to gauge with the different unspun. So I'm kind of thinking that the Hillesvog, the Plötelopi, the Nutsidin, Manchalopi, all of these, I think, I think of them as um, being able to be used for the same patterns, even though the gauge might vary and the thickness of the unspun might vary a bit because it is such um airy fiber that tends to fill out whatever space it's given. So really, I feel like they can all substitute each other. I just have to gauge swatch and figure out which needle size in order to get gauge. So I have written down other patterns that can be used. Most of them are designed using either Nutidin or Plotilupi, um, but there are at least a couple who are not designed with unspun in mind, but could be used, such as the Guernsey Genser. I'm just gonna have a sip of water. I don't know why I'm rambling so fast. Okay. Maybe we should go a little bit in order. So the first kind of sweaters quantity that I wanna put away with a plan is some, what can I say, it's uh, 900 grams actually. So on the Hillsburg mills, they sell their, their unspun in these cakes, which are approximately 200 grams, but you have to weigh them. So I got four plates of this undyed white. I think all of their colors that they sell now, they have four are undyed so there's just different amounts of gray and white in the mixes so this is white this looks very much like the Norwegian white sheep um, they have this kind of warm white yellowy white color so I got four of these thinking that would be at least 800 grams and should be enough for several projects um, they weighed it and it's actually 940 grams. So it's almost a kilo of these four. So I have four of them. When it comes to the composition, so with Nitsidin, you get them single stranded, but the Hillesvog comes double stranded. I believe Manchalopi is the same. So it comes with it's falling down two strands of fiber round around so it's not the best unspun if you want to make a project that calls for just a single strand of unspun because you would have to unwind and it's just a lot of extra work so for the Hillesvog I am thinking of patterns which uses two strands of unspun now I did make the Amy slipover last year and I had to kind of ball them up two balls at a time to get it single stranded and I'm not going to do that again so double stranded projects and I have over 900 grams of this white one so on my list I have several projects but most of them range between needing 400 to 600 grams um and I think of the ones that need more than 600 grams, what I have listed on my list is the Gentle Lopi by Melody Hoffman. 
and I do want to make that one, but I don't think I want to make it in white. I want to make it in this color, which is their second color, and it's a light gray. It's quite a warm light gray. Um, I don't know if it's showing up very warm on camera because everything else in this room is very warm, but yeah, a light gray. And I have plenty of the light gray as well. I actually have more of the light gray than I do of the white one. And the other one is the Guernsey Genser. And it would be kind of nice to have a white one, but I don't think I really need that in my life right now. So what I did get this color for that I had in mind when I was at the factory was the Harlow sweater v-neck by Kadri. Now the Harlow sweater v-neck is not a sweater intended for using unspun for, it uses spun yarn, um, but the gauge is 19 stitches and for a lot of um, the unspun projects that I have been knitting on, the gauge goes from 18 to 20 stitches usually. I think if I'm looking at that is usually what I've been knitting with. It could easily be 16 to 21 as well, but I think 18 to 20 stitch gauge. So the Harlow sweater v-neck and a 19 stitch gauge I think would be a really nice sweater in this white one. If I don't end up making the Harlow sweater v-neck, it would also be nice to have a white cardigan. So I'm in between those two things, but yeah, putting these into the cabinet, definitely enough for both the cardigan and the Harlow sweater v-neck. All right. Mm. Okay, yeah. So this light gray I have I had four from before and then I bought three more. I have made I think I made the tulip sweater in this light gray from Melody Hoffman. So Melody Hoffman has several designs that can be used for unspun. She has designed both a knitted and a plet loopy, but I find they are interchangeable. I think I used two of these to make the tulip sweater, so around 400 grams. And I have four here, so this should be at least 800 grams. And then I have a ball wound up from when I did make the tulip. And then I also have around 300 grams here from, from the factory um, that I just went to. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I have more than a kilo of the light gray. Um, I think these are slightly smaller than the cakes in the white color so um in the bag where there are two cakes that i would think would be 400 grams it's 330 so but i have six plus one so i definitely have more than a kilo of the light gray and what i'm thinking of making with this light gray is and i haven't quite decided <laughs> But the um, the Miles shirt jacket by Ozetta, her name is Haley, but she goes by Ozetta as a designer. That is a big, soft cardigan designed for unspun. And it uses around, I think I would use around 600 grams for my size. And I'm thinking of making that either in this light gray or in the darker gray. So these are both Hillesville colors, the light gray and the dark gray. And I haven't quite decided if I wanna make the Miles shirt jacket in the light gray or dark. I think I'm leaning towards 
the light gray and maybe have like some dark wooden buttons would be nice and then this what could should we call should we call it a medium gray so that was the light gray the medium gray and there's also a dark gray or charcoal so for this color the medium gray i had three of these in my stash so five six hundred grams we can assume that it is i could weigh them but yeah i had these in stash already and then i got three more at the mill so i now have six plates of the medium gray and this is gonna take up so much space um but when you do knit with it it takes a little bit less space um because it all compresses a little bit um yeah but i have 600 grams of this medium gray so definitely enough to do the miles shirt jacket um but also the gentle lopi by melody hoffman so you know you can let me know what you think which one would be best as the gentle lopi and which one would be best as the miles shirt jacket i am leaning towards the jacket and then the gentle lopi which is almost like a dress really in the medium gray um i also made the fields of gold by isabella clark and i finished it this spring and this has a sort of sweetheart neckline doesn't show that well with a turtleneck and the sleeves are shorter and i added a longer body and a scalloped hem and i still have a bit left of this colorway which was a new hidden yarn that i held double with the silk mohair and I still have a little, a one plate and almost one plate left. I think the colorway was Vanessa, if I'm not mistaken. And the sun is coming in, so I think I'm going to change recording position. Okay, new position, better lighting, I hope. Uh, where was I? Uh... I want to show you the last of the Hillesvog that I have. So I made the Amy slipover in this color last year. This is the charcoal, I would call it, the darkest color that they have. So this is the plate that I used for the Amy slipover. So I still have quite a bit left. Um, so it does use less than 200 grams. And I really like this colorway. So I wanted to get more of it so that I have enough for two projects. So, I have three, four, five plates of this, um, plus <laughs> plus three, so eight. I have eight plates. I can't hold it up, but I have eight plates of the charcoal color, and. I already have planned one project, but I'm going to have enough to make another one just because I really like this color and in case it disappears, I wanted to make sure that I had enough. So the pattern that I want to make with the dark color one, so this one, is the Versal by Al Albina McLaughlin or something, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm sorry, but I think it's Albina. I want to make either the Versal or the Saglin. I haven't quite decided. They are very similar, um, but one of those two, I have, I have the pattern ready, and her patterns are, um, it gives you a lot of options. So, it doesn't say use this yarn, it says use this kind of weight yarn and this is how many grams you need. So I would need around 600 grams and holding it double to make the Versal or Saglin. 
and I have plenty so I am going to do that and probably make um, the turtleneck version. There's a lot of options in the patterns for different necklines and different modifications but I think that is what I want to do. And I'm also thinking about maybe making the hood by Vanessa Pelissa. That only requires around 400 grams for the size that I would be making. Um, I could make another tulip by Melody Hoffman. Um, other patterns from Melody Hoffman, I'm going to keep, keep putting photos here, is the Wild Posy. I have that pattern as well. That takes a little bit more, maybe 600 grams. Um, and the Offering of Trees is also really pretty. Uh, I think I would make that one in one of the lighter colors, just so that the details of the raglan would show up better. And that's that's 600 grams, so I should have enough, maybe, of, of the gray ones, even though I make a sweater. We'll see. It does go a long way, the unspun, a lot further than I think it would. Except for the Guernsey Genser. That didn't go far enough. <laughs> um, Liv Ulven from Woodlandlitz, she also has another sweater called the Soft Spoken Sweater that doesn't use that much. It uses around 400 grams with a silk mohair. So that is an option as well if I have some leftovers of the ones with larger quantities. Um, and then I have 600 grams of a new Titan colorway. That I haven't decided what to make with, but I am considering making the Building Blocks Drop by Amy Sher. It needs 600 grams and I have exactly that in this colorway. So this is a color from Newtiden. It's called the Botaniska and it comes in these brown bags. So I'm not going to take it out because it keeps it a little bit contained. But yeah, I have 600 grams of this beautiful green with yellow and pinkish flecks of fiber. And the building blocks by Amy Sure requires 600 grams. So I think it would be perfect. Um, I also think the Versal or Saglin would be really pretty. And this green color, I really like this green color and I think it suits me. So I do want to, to make a sweater that will get a lot of use. Maybe even the hood, but I don't know if a hooded hoodie is something I wear the most. But the building blocks drop or the Versal. There's also some other cardigans that's on my wish list. So there is the Loki cardigan by Leave Ulven again. Very similar. To when I first looked at it, I thought it might be the Miles shirt jacket. They kind of have like a similar look. They both use unspun. That might be why. Uh, but yeah, that cardigan, she says I need to run 500 grams, so it should be enough. Um, the Miles shirt jacket is 500 to 600, so should also be enough. There is the Fluff Nugget by Soprano Knits. This cardigan is different from the other two. I really like the look of it. Um, and that could be nice in this color as well. Decisions, decisions. And Albina, she also has a cardigan for Unspun. And that one just looks like a dream to throw on if you want to be cozy. And it's the... I don't know how to pronounce it. Siorcal. I'll put a photo. It looks like a dream of a cardigan to throw on. It's 600 to 700 grams. It looks very cozy. Um, while the other three are maybe better for like everyday use to throw on when you're going out of the house. This one feels like something to throw on in the evenings uh, when you're at home and you're feeling a bit chilly. So yes, I have to make a decision, but out of everything I've shown you, this one actually has a color. The other ones are like grays and white and 
natural sheep colors while this is colored. So I want to make sure that I find a good project for this and I don't want to run out again because I can't get more. When it comes to the Hillesvog ones, I can't really see much of a difference between what I bought before and what I bought now. Maybe like a slight difference, but with this one, I want to make sure that I pick a project that I don't run out because that's stressful because they don't make them anymore. I have one Hillsvog that is dyed. I have one plate of this. So this, they called it brown, but to me, this is almost like a purpley pink gray. And they had one plate of it. It was going out of production. So it was some fiber that they dyed. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Because I don't think I want an AB slipover in this. But there are a lot of beautiful accessories on Ravelry. So if you go on Ravelry, you can search for Plotelupi or Nutsidin or Manchalopi or, you know, unspun yarns. And then there'll show up patterns that can be used with that kind of yarn. So there are a lot of beautiful hats and shawls and mittens, socks that uses unspun. So maybe this will be used for something like that or in color work. It would make pretty color work as well. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The last yarn in my stash of unspun is my Plotelupi. So I have around 400 grams. So the Plotilopi, they sell them in exactly 100 gram plates, um, whilst the Hillesvog has a huge variation. The Nutsidin is sold by weight, but there's a huge variation in how much meterage per 100 grams. I think uh, the Plotilopi is the most commercial out of all the unspun, um, and they come in more dense packaging. It's definitely the hardest to touch and most rustic of the unspun. I feel like the Hillesvog might be the softest, except for certain colors of Nutsidin, which is very soft. Um, the, the, the Hillesvog is very soft, while this is more scratchy. I have 400 grams, so four plates of the rust, so that should be enough for a sweater. So maybe the tulip could be made or I need to look at my cheat sheet. I could make the hood in this. That could actually be kind of cool. The hood in orange or rust or maybe the season sweater by Ozetta. That one uses 400 grams and I think I could use this. That is a really, really pretty sweater. That might be a good option for the green as well. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I have 400 of this. And he also bought it with one cake of the dark gray. I think, I think the lady in the store helped him out thinking it would be used for, for color work. But I don't know, I don't like the combination of the dark gray and rust that much for color work. Um, I think I would rather have something light colored with this and then use this for an accessory, maybe make a hat or something. My forehead is quite sensitive, but I do think that a hat in this fiber could be doable, but I wouldn't know until I have knitted up and worn it. I have several brown shades of Plotilopi as well. I bought, um, let's see if I can show you, I have these two plates and I don't, I think this is brown heather. So I have brown heather and I have this one. And again, I think these would make lovely hats um, or some other accessory. I could of course combine them into a bigger project. I have four more plates 
in this color and on the packaging they don't write what it is mm, so i am quite unsure about what color i have here i thought it might be driftwood is that a color in Plotolopi? because i don't think it's the same as this but they come with this information and on the front it's just the general Platulupi tag it doesn't actually say the color is if driftwood is a color i feel like this is it but it might not even be a color <laughs> but i do have four of this so again i could make that hood or yeah I'm going to keep my little cheat list with my unspun so I can easily refer to them and see what quantity would fit. So I could make another Björkraglen if I combine this with some other yarn. I could make the hood. I could make the soft spoken sweater by Liv Ulven. I could not make that. No, I couldn't. I mean, I could make the season sweater. So most of the sweaters use more than 500 grams, so five, 600 grams, or even bigger for, for the gentle lopey. But yeah, there are definitely more patterns out there. This is just something that I threw together th today based on what I would like to make. There are so many others to, to look at if you, if you need some inspiration. I recommend checking it out. Um, you could, of course, Google it if you don't use Ravelry. Uh, I find it a good way of searching for patterns, so that's what I did today. Um, but generally, Melody Hoffman has a lot of patterns that can be used. Uh, Ozetta has patterns that can be used, even though she doesn't always list... I don't think she always lists unspun, but if you look at the gauge around 18 to 20, that is a good gauge um and yeah woodland knits has patterns that can be used and uh, isabella clark has patterns not just uh, the fields of gold she also has shawls for example uh, albina has patterns that can be used and amy sure has patterns that can be used there's lots of great designers out there so the possibilities are endless I will be putting all of these big fluffy cakes into my cabinet and put my little cheat list in there and hopefully cast on something soon. I tend to have just one unspun project going at a time because it kind of needs to like lie safely on the couch so it doesn't break into a thousand pieces. If it does, I just rub it together. It's it's not a big problem, but it tends to be on the couch, so I think I'll finish my Amy slipover in the light green and then I might cast on the Miles shirt jacket. I feel like that's something I need in my life right now. Either that one or the Harlow v-neck in the white. One of those two. Decisions, decisions. So if you've made something with Unspun that you really love, I'd love to have you write below what that was. Or if you have some great plans planned, please share it. I love to read about it. And um, I will be coming back to you with some other stash videos. I am planning a mohair one. So I just need to find the time because that is a lot more single skeins and things to go through. So one day I'll be back with some mohair stash. And I have other stash as well that I should go through kind of to just refresh it for myself and you guys seem to like it so it's a win-win and I highly recommend going through your stash and looking for inspiration it's how I like to knit I look at what I have and then I pick patterns based on the yarn and I love using different yarn than intended in the patterns it's like a creative freedom that brings me a lot of joy and endless possibilities so I highly recommend just gauge swatch all right Bye. So here is all the Hillesvog organized in charcoal, white, light gray, medium gray, and that one 
off skein. And then here next to some summer yarns, I have the Plotelupi and the Newtidin mix organized.